Hey guys, Staffy19 here. You're just watching Abla95's YouTube channel. I'm showcasing it here on my site. Uh, he and I got together and uh, he's given me the opportunity to um, pick a uh, winner for him. He, uh, he's having a giveaway. He's uh, giving away the uh, outerwares uh, uh, covers for either the Slash 4x4 or the Stampede 4x4. Uh, Abla just finished a custom build of his Stampede 4x4. Please check out his website. Again, that's Abla, O-B-L-A 95 uh, on YouTube. Um, check out that rig. It is killer. Uh, he did a lot of custom work on it, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Again, uh, we got together. He's having that giveaway for the outerwares. I'll be picking a winner shortly. All you got to do is go to his website, go to his YouTube channel, like and subscribe and uh, that'll give you a chance to uh, win the uh, giveaway. I'll pick uh, one of his uh, subscribers and we'll announce it on both our channels uh, probably uh, Sunday night. Alrighty, um, on to some updates. Um, went to the hobby shop today, uh, we're going to be racing tomorrow, my son and I, and uh, had to pick up a few things. I thought it would be a good chance to uh, show you a couple of things I picked up for the Axial Exoterra buggy and uh, just give you some input as to the running of the truck. Let's go on over to the Terra buggy and uh, let me give you some uh, some of my opinions. Hold on. And here's the truck again. Uh, I posted a video uh, not too long ago of it first running at a field nearby. Um, out of the box right now she's uh, pretty much stock um, the truck is awesome um, do I think it's worth the money I think it's kinda uh, overpriced personally um, but performance is just outstanding out of the box it, it's just a fun truck to drive the, um, the biggest positive thing in my opinion about the vehicle is the roll cage and the light bar. The light bar is exactly what it's for. It's to put lights up front, okay? But my big positive thing, I don't know if you can really see, I've only rolled the truck maybe two or three times, and without this light bar, the nose and the hood would have taken a beating. But if you can see here right on the edges, the light bar takes all the abuse I mean, I have yet to even scuff the hood. And again, I've rolled it two or three times. I have yet to scuff the roof. The light bar is just taking a beating right here, and it's taking a beating right here. These supports are very flexible. So I've had no issues other than it getting really torn up here. So if any of you guys who want to get this truck are going to bash it, I highly recommend that you get another set of light bars. Um, I picked it up today at the shop. Okay, here we go. If you are interested, it's part number AX80085. Okay, unfortunately, it comes with everything, so you're going to spend a few bucks. I think, I, yeah, what I pay here? I paid $15.99. A little steep. It is what it is, but uh, you know, you get the parts tree, you get the light bar, 
you get the supports, you know, you get a few other things in here. But most importantly, you're getting that light bar. You're going to go through a couple of them if uh, you're bashing the truck. Um, anybody who already owns the kit knows that it comes with one set of sand ramps or dirt ramps, you know, for uh, crawling. If you get stuck in the sand or stuff, you know, and you want to, you don't want to use the hand of God to get yourself out of trouble. There's uh, a set of ramps that come with the truck, but it's only one side. So if you want two sides, which I did, I wanted it for the SCX-10, I ordered AX80112, and in that package, you get another set of ramps, okay? Um, uh, this is also part of the parch tree for the lower center of the cage, okay? So these ramps are going to be for the uh, SCX-10. Uh, those are those things. Back to the uh, Terra buggy. Um, you'll notice I didn't put the interior in. I'm gonna be having just fun with this truck. Uh, we are racing them. Uh, I have quite a few friends now that have them, so we are racing them. Um, I ran the truck with the interior uh, for testing and I was getting close to 200 degrees even with seriously lowered uh, a pinion, you know, a small pinion. Um, the pinion that it comes with it just runs too hot. It just runs too hot. There's not enough air flow in here. Okay, so if you're gonna run the truck for just scale, uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take a few teeth off the pinion. Okay, if you're gonna run it hard like I'm running it, I recommend running it without the uh, interior to get the airflow. Um, maybe uh, Outer Wear is going to come out with, I don't even, haven't checked this site yet, uh, if you're concerned with dirt getting in there. But I tell you what, the way the body's designed and the way they, you know, have the uh, Lexan blocking the front here, I've gotten very, very little dirt inside that. I've run on sand, I've run on gravel. You really got to run it really hard. You got to bash the hell out of it to get any serious dirt in there because the spur gear is exposed um but it's you know it's uh, it's mod it's uh, mod eight you know it's uh well, excuse me mod one you know it's using 32 pitch so if you do get a little something in there the gear is big enough that it's just going to chew it up it's not going to cause you any serious issues um that's one the uh, other thing is the kit comes with 30 weight oil for the shocks if you're going to run it as hard as I'm going to, I'm running it, the 30 weight was a little too light. The suspension was very plush, soaks up the bumps nicely, but uh, under heavy, under heavy uh, uh, driving with a lot of gravel and stuff, I've already, I don't know if you can see it, but I've already put a nice gash in the aluminum, in the aluminum uh, chassis. So, um... That's because you just bottomed out. With 30 weight oil, it's just gonna bottom out a lot. It looks great, awesome suspension travel while she's driving, but uh, 30 weight I think is too light. Um, at the very least, right now I'm running 40, excuse me, I'm a liar. I'm running 37 and a half. Let me just check that to be sure. Yeah, I'm running 37, Point five. I'm using uh, Team Associated Shock Oil. I'm running 37.5 up front, and I'm running 40 weight in the rear. Big improvement. Big improvement. Runs a lot better. Um, if you can afford it, toss the shocks. Um, I just uh, have no luck for some reason. The SCX-10 just gave me a ton of problems with the shocks. Uh, I kept blowing out the uh, bladders. Uh, this truck, right after I made that last video of its uh, maiden run in the park with my son, I blew out this shock. Unfortunately, I didn't have any bladders. Positive side to it is if you're going to continue to use the axial uh, plastic body shocks, Traxxas uh, uh, Ultra Shock bladders are A, thicker, and B, seem to just hold up better, and they fit the uh, shock nicely uh, for the axial. 
I happen to have a rebuild kit, a shock rebuild kit for my tr one of my Traxxas trucks, and uh, the bladder went right in. And so far, so good. Um, on the next rebuild of these shocks, if I decide to keep them, I'll uh, replace the bladders with uh, uh, all Traxxas. The uh, axial bladders just are not holding up. They're just they're splitting and they're blowing out. Um, the other item was the wing. I see some people raising the wing. I tell you what, guys. Dude, unless you're really going to seriously race this truck, I just don't even know uh, uh, any track right now that even has a class for it. If you're going to race it, I just don't see the wing, raising the wing, uh, uh, helping this truck at all. Um, there's just not enough airflow uh, to uh, make a difference. It sits so low back here. Even if you raise the wing a couple of inches, you're still not getting the flow that would allow the wing to be useful. Um, I just say leave it alone. The truck uh, on on uh, in the rhythm section handles nicely. Um, the uh, steering could be a little bit tighter, just a little bit. I've uh, got some uh, shims in here now, so uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm not getting that wiggle that she had out of the box. Okay, so I've got it, got it shimmed. Um, the pins up front something to watch. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. The axle pins up front, I can't get a good picture for you, but right in here you have axle pins. They're captured, okay? These control arm pins, they're captured pins. If uh, you put the kit together or you're watching the build videos out there, there's actually a grub screw that holds the pins in place, front and rear. I'm finding uh, the fronts are holding up way better than the rear. The rear pins are sliding out maybe, ooh, what would I say? i say about three, four millimeters. They're not going anywhere because they are captured, but the groove is three, four times wider than the grub screw. So the pin can slide two to three millimeters left or right. Although, you know, there's a groove inside the pin. It's a captured uh, pin but it still allows it to slide back and forth. So on several occasions I've taken the truck apart, I've taken the wheel off and found that the pin had slid. My recommendation, sorry about that guys, it's the, uh, I'm uh, charging some batteries. Um, my recommendation is what I'm gonna probably do is pull those pins out and right where they have it captured, let's see if I can dremel it out a little bit more, just a little bit dead center of where they have it uh, uh, slotted and see if uh, uh, it'll hold better that way. You can't get too too crazy with the grub screw because it's uh, it's being screwed into plastic. So that's an issue to watch after every, every run. Those pins like to slide. Um, there's been some mods out there. Everybody's having a hard time putting the battery in. It is a tight situation in there. Um, I could just Im I I just I can just imagine how bad it would be with the cover. Okay, with the cover on it, it's got to be even worse to put a battery in here. I have a hard time and I don't have the interior installed. Uh, I have seen some people uh, removing, let me see if I can get this open, removing this piece right here to give yourself a little more access. I don't, excuse me, I don't recommend it. I just think it's going to weaken the, uh, the cage. Um, just take your time. Just take your time and you'll get the battery in there. There's no, uh, you know, there's no hurry to uh, race to put the battery in there. Um, an item to watch is, let's see if I can get a better shot, is you have the spur gear, okay, right there, okay, and I have the battery going this way, okay. What I would watch is when you're placing the battery in there, especially if you're using a lipo. Be careful how you position the strap when you're tying down the battery. Make sure that you gently and neatly place the uh, uh, balancing tap 
under the strap so that the strap holds the tap in place when you're locking the battery down. You don't want the uh, balancing tap flapping around. Um, it can get caught up, pinched, jammed up, or even torn out of the battery. So make sure that's uh, tied down when you're running the truck. Um, that's about it, guys. I really have no complaints other than the pins on the on the uh, wheels on the control arm sliding out uh, and uh, you know uh, getting the battery in and out of the truck the truck is absolutely amazing these tires hook up well on all surfaces um, at the beach even on the sand uh, it's very predictable very easy to control when uh, she tries to slide out um, the only other uh, item I'm going to start playing with is uh, possibly going with a heavier weight oil for the diffs to uh, get them to lock up a little better. They, uh, they're kind of, uh, I don't know, they're kind of weak for me right now. I found, uh, I got stuck a couple of times in the sand and it's four wheel drive, it shouldn't do that. Um, so maybe... Uh, not locking the rears, but putting uh, heavier weight oil in there to get them to to get them to uh, hook up a little better. All right, guys, uh, I'm not done with the truck. I still uh, have some uh, detailing I want to put on the side panels, but I just wanted to get it out there as fast as possible and run it. Uh, before I go, uh, hopefully I'm going to be shooting some video tomorrow at the track. I'll post that uh, one more time. Abla 95s. YouTube channel, OBLA95's YouTube channel, visit his channel, subscribe, like the video, check out the Stampede 4x4 he worked on, he's got over a thousand dollars into it, it absolutely looks out of this world, it must be a beast running it, and it looks like it's bomb proof, absolutely amazing, um, again, like, subscribe, gives you a chance to uh, win a set of outwares for the uh, slash 4x4 four four or the Stampede 4x4. Four four. He'll be giving that away. He's given me the honor of picking one of his subscribers as the winner. Again, uh, I'll be announcing that winner this weekend uh, uh, at the earliest, at the latest uh, first, uh, maybe Monday night, but I should be able to do that on Sunday. Alrighty, guys. Uh, enjoy. Have a good Saturday, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.